Hey there, and welcome to English for Everyone, where we teach real-life American English. Today, you're going to learn correct American pronunciation. Let's get started. First, this is not correct. A 9 out of 10 with an asterisk, but with an asterisk. So I'm going to have to put an asterisk next to this category. But again, I have an asterisk there. Because I give her a 9 with an asterisk. The word is not pronounced asterisk. There is no letter X at the end of the word. The two letters, S and K, make the sound sk, not x. The word is pronounced asterisk, not asterisk. Let's listen to some examples. Asterisk, asterisk. This is called an asterisk, asterisk. This one? Asterisk, not asterisk. Asterisk. And don't say this either. One thing that she has done masterfully, unbelievably. Do not say masterfully. Do not pronounce it with four syllables. It's a three-syllable word. Masterfully. I'll give you an example. Some of the best contemporary poetry, rap music, uses alliteration masterfully. What we see is a unique, personal, virtual reality that is masterfully constructed by our brain. 85% had a negative view of the national news media. Donald Trump has exploited this sentiment masterfully. Minus Beta shared this splendid object, so masterfully photographed. Keep watching the video for a complete explanation of why we pronounce words like this. Recently, I made a video about the pronunciation of F-U-L-L-Y, and I said the U is silent. The U is silent in these three words, masterfully, beautifully, and wonderfully. And it's true, the U is silent. And I had some viewers ask questions in the comments. So today we're going to explain why this is and how it works. Let's take a closer look. First, let's look at these three words. Hopefully, respectfully, and successfully. We see with these three words, the U is not silent. You hear the sound uh, uh, fully, fully. Again, hopefully, respectfully, and successfully. Why is it different? The first word, hopefully. The stress is on the first syllable, and there's only one syllable before F-U-L-L-Y. If there's only one syllable before F-U-L-L-Y, pronounce the U. Hopefully. And now we look at respectfully and successfully. Here we have two syllables before F-U-L-L-Y. If you have two syllables, and the stress is on the second syllable, then pronounce the U. Respect. See, the stress is on the second syllable. Respectfully. So we pronounce the U. Success. Again, the stress is on the second syllable, so we pronounce the U. Successfully. Again, respectfully. You have four syllables. The stress is on the second syllable. Respectfully and the fourth syllable. But what's important is you have two syllables before F-U-L-L-Y and you have a stress on the second syllable, not the first. So you pronounce the U, respectfully and successfully. So what's the difference? Well, if I look at masterfully, beautifully, and wonderfully, we have two syllables before the F-U-L-L-Y, but the stress is on the first syllable. When you have two syllables before F-U-L-L-Y and the stress is on the first syllable, then the U is silent. That's when the U is silent. That's why we say masterfully. Masterfully. Not masterfully. Make it three syllables. Masterfully. Masterfully and beautifully and wonderfully. With these words, the stress is on the first syllable and you have two syllables before F-U-L-L-Y. That's when the U is silent. Beautifully synchronized, don't you agree? And conquer themselves so beautifully. Eve said you were wonderfully funny. The post office in the forest was a capital little institution and flourished wonderfully, for many things passed through it. Well, it's a shame you two didn't come with us to the movies last oh. night. We saw a wonderfully funny American film. Yeah. Nice move. Beautifully done. You spoke beautifully. I've got to be me. For I am fearfully and wonderfully made. 
She was so <laughs> wonderfully funny, so very generous. Let's practice with hopefully. Again, hopefully. Three syllables pronounced a U. Hopefully, it'll be sunny tomorrow. Let's practice. Will it be sunny tomorrow? That's right. Hopefully, it'll be sunny tomorrow. We hear the pronunciation with it will, contraction, it'll, it'll. The T changes to a fast D. It'll, it'll be sunny tomorrow. Hopefully, it'll be sunny tomorrow. Let's practice with respectfully, pronouncing the U. Uh, uh, fully, fully. Uh, uh, fully. Respectfully. Respectfully. Example, he got an offer, but he declined the offer. He respectfully declined the offer. He declined the offer with respect. So I can say he respectfully declined the offer. Let's practice. Did he respectfully decline the offer? That's right. He respectfully declined the offer. We hear the pronunciation, declined the offer. The D in declined blends together with the TH, the offer. He declined the offer. The tongue goes up, makes a stop D, but it links together with the TH, so you don't really hear it. He respectfully declined the offer. Now let's practice with successfully. Example, he managed the company successfully for many years. Successfully. Successfully. The stress is on the second syllable, so we pronounce the U. Uh, uh, successfully. Let's practice. Did he manage the company successfully for many years? That's right. He managed the company successfully for many years. Again, the pronunciation managed in the past. Managed the company. You make a stop D and it links together with the. So you don't really hear the D. He managed the company. He managed the company successfully for many years. Link the words. Now let's look at some more words. Powerfully and mercifully. We see with these words we have two syllables before F-U-L-L-Y and the stress is on the first syllable. So we do not pronounce the U. Powerfully, not powerfully, not powerfully, not four syllables, the U is silent. So we say powerfully because the stress is on the first syllable and you have two syllables before F-U-L-L-Y. Powerfully. Example, she gave a speech and she expressed her opinions powerfully. That means in a powerful way. She expressed her opinions powerfully. Not powerfully, but powerfully. Flee, flee. Powerfully. Three syllables. She expressed her opinions powerfully. Let's practice. When she was giving the speech, did she express her opinions powerfully? That's right. When she was giving the speech, she expressed her opinions powerfully. By all the other names of God Almighty, we powerfully command ye. His grim aspect affects me powerfully, as is the barbaric white leg in which he stands. A head-on assault against a powerfully entrenched army. Let's practice with mercifully. Again, mercifully. You have two syllables before F-U-L-L-Y, and the stress is on the first syllable. So the U is silent. You don't hear it. Mercifully. Not mercifully. Mercifully. With mercy. With compassion. I pray to God that her death was mercifully swift. Well, it was so long ago, mercifully for you, I've forgotten it. Example, the dog was sick, and the dog was going to die, and the dog was in pain. So the veterinarian mercifully put the dog to sleep. With mercy, because they didn't want the dog to be in pain. The veterinarian mercifully put the dog to sleep. Let's practice. Did the veterinarian mercifully put the dog to sleep? That's right. The veterinarian mercifully put the dog to sleep. Now let's practice with masterfully, beautifully, and wonderfully. Again, these words have two syllables before F-U-L-L-Y and the stress is on the first syllable. So the U is silent. 
Example, he played the guitar last night. He played the guitar masterfully. Masterfully. Three syllables. Don't pronounce the U. He played the guitar masterfully. And he sang. Sing in the present, sang in the past. Use the long A sound. Sang. Not sang, but sang. When you have A-N-G together, pronounce the A with a long A sound. Ang. He sang the song beautifully. So he played the guitar masterfully. He sang beautifully. And he performed wonderfully. Wonderfully. Three syllables. Don't pronounce the U. You have two syllables before F-U-L-L-Y and the stress is on the first syllable. So the U is silent. Wonderfully. He performed wonderfully. Let's practice. Did he play the guitar masterfully? That's right. He played the guitar masterfully. Did he sing beautifully? That's right. He sang beautifully. Did he perform wonderfully? That's right. He performed wonderfully. And this is the last word. This is a special word. Awfully. Or is it awfully? Well, you have one syllable before F-U-L-L-Y, so it should be awfully. You should pronounce the U according to the rule. But sometimes we don't. This word has two pronunciations. Sometimes you'll hear Americans say awfully and pronounce it with three syllables, pronouncing the U, following the rule, awfully. But it's not very common. It's more common to hear awfully, awfully, and not pronounce the U. Awfully. Two syllables, the U is silent. This is more common, especially with words like awfully sorry. I'm awfully sorry. And it just means very, very sorry. I'm awfully sorry. Or when you hear awfully with hard. It's awfully hard. And it means it's very, very difficult. Pronounce it with two syllables. Not awfully hard, but awfully. Awfully hard and awfully sorry. But I think your Gilbert is awfully bold to wink at a strange girl. I'm awfully sorry for your daughter. Seems like awfully hard work. I'm awfully glad you asked me that, Lloyd. Because I just happen to have two 20s and two 10s right here in my wallet. Roy, the wiki was trying awfully hard to protect this gold. But... They're awfully hard to get on. <laughs> of course, it's going to be awfully hard to fly it without... Oh, someone older I expect. Awfully sorry about that. Oh, and by the way, I'm awfully sorry about the New Yorker. Oh, I'm awfully sorry. Tom Baxter. Ex I'm awfully sorry about this whole mess here. I'll tell you one thing, it's awfully hard to read. Awfully nice renovation. Oh. My. They, they worked you awfully hard last night, didn't they? Example, I'm awfully sorry to give you the bad news. Or I can say the doctor. The doctor was awfully sorry to give him the bad news. The doctor was very, very sorry. You can say the doctor was awfully sorry. Not awfully sorry, but awfully. He was awfully sorry. Let's practice. Was the doctor awfully sorry to give him the bad news? That's right. The doctor was awfully sorry to give him the bad news. Or when I say awfully hard, we hear two syllables. Awfully. It's awfully hard. Not it's awfully hard, but it's awfully hard. Example, it's awfully hard to study with all the noise. She's trying to study, but she hears a lot of noise, so it's very difficult. It's awfully hard. It's awfully hard to study with all the noise. Let's practice. Is it awfully hard to study with all the noise? That's right. It's awfully hard to study with all the noise. Let's review. So with words like hopefully, respectfully, and successfully, we pronounce a U. Why? Because with hopefully, you have one syllable before F-U-L-L-Y. Pronounce the U. If you have two syllables before F-U-L-L-Y and the stress is on the second syllable, pronounce the U. So again, hopefully, respectfully, and successfully. But with words like these, 
masterfully, beautifully, and wonderfully. You have two syllables before F-U-L-L-Y, but the stress is on the first syllable. In this case, the U is silent. Masterfully, beautifully, wonderfully. We also practice with these words, powerfully and mercifully. Again, you have two syllables before F-U-L-L-Y, and the stress is on the first syllable, so the U is silent. Powerfully, mercifully. And then we have this one strange word, awfully. Sometimes you'll hear awfully with three syllables, awfully, but it's more common to hear awfully with two syllables. Examples, I'm awfully sorry and it's awfully hard. This is also not correct. Or, the talented musician was playing the guitar masterfully. The word is not pronounced masterfully. Masterfully. Masterfully is not correct. It's not four syllables. We pronounce it with three syllables. Master, flee, flee. The last syllable is flee. Not fully, but flee. Master, flee. Master, flee. Put the stress on the first and third syllable. Master, flee. Masterfully. If you do something very well, like a master, you do it masterfully. Example. He painted a painting. And he did it masterfully. I'm describing how he did the action. It describes the verb. He painted it masterfully. He did it well, like a master, like a pro. Let's practice. How did he do? How did he paint it? Did he paint it masterfully? That's right, he painted it masterfully. This is also not correct. He played the guitar beautifully. I cannot say beautifully. Beautifully. Four syllables is not correct. We pronounce it with three syllables. Beautifully. Beautifully. Put the stress on the first and third syllable. Beautifully. Flee. Flee is the final syllable. Flee. Beautifully. And of course, beautifully means to do something in a beautiful way. Again, the painter. He painted a painting. And he painted it beautifully. He did it in a beautiful way. Remember, three syllables. Beautifully. Beautifully. Let's practice. How did he paint the painting? Did he paint it beautifully? That's right. He painted it beautifully. He did a beautiful job. So we're seeing a pattern here with words like masterfully and beautifully. Let's look at one more. Wonderful. Wonderful is three syllables. But if I put L-Y after it, then it's wonderfully. See, it changes to three syllables. It's not wonderfully. We don't make it four when you put Lee after these words. So when you see F-U-L-L-Y, don't pronounce that U. Shorten the word and make it three syllables. Like masterfully, beautifully. Now we see wonderfully, wonderfully. Three syllables like the others. So wonderfully, when you do something in a wonderful way. Example, he did his performance. He sang and he danced. And he did his performance wonderfully. He performed wonderfully. Let's practice. Did he perform wonderfully? That's right. He performed wonderfully. Three syllables. Wonderfully. In a wonderful way. Very good. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to become a member, click the join button. And we'll see you next time.